Today I'm making a classic meatloaf with a mushroom twist. I'm Tess and welcome to my kitchen. Come join me as I prepare this yummy, moist and rich meatloaf meal. I had a friend give us a large amount of cremini mushrooms and the first thought that came to my mind was mushroom meatloaf. And thank you, Scott. Cremini mushrooms are a medium mature mushroom in between the very popular white button mushroom and the very mature and overgrown portobello mushroom. Cremini mushrooms are sometimes known as baby bellas. In my cast iron pan on medium heat, I've added a couple tablespoons of olive oil, a cup of finely diced Vidalia onion, and a cup and a half of finely chopped mushrooms, some salt and black pepper, and giving that a good stir. Cooking on medium heat for about five to seven minutes until the onions and mushrooms sweat down. Then adding two minced garlic cloves. Stirring and cooking for an additional minute and removing from the heat. Letting that completely cool. Next in a large bowl I have two large eggs. I'm adding a half a teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of milk. I'm giving that a good whisk. If you like this recipe and video, remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment below. You never know what I might be cooking in my kitchen, and I always love to hear from my viewers. And now I'm adding a piece of my garden. I have a half a cup of freshly chopped parsley, one tablespoon of fresh chopped chives, and one tablespoon of fresh marjoram. You can use the herbs of your choice and certainly use dried herbs. Just adjust the amounts. Because dried herbs are generally more potent and concentrated than fresh herbs, you'll need less, typically three times the amount of fresh herbs as dry. And in goes a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and give it a good whisk. And then goes in a cup of diced bread or rolls, whatever you might have on hand. This is going to help retain a lot of the moisture in the meatloaf. Give this a good mix in a pat and let it set for about 15 minutes until that bread absorbs all that liquid. Now I'm adding a quarter cup of grated cheese and I'm using a three cheese blend. I'm adding two tablespoons of cream of mushroom soup as I had a can open in the fridge. And why not? And this is optional. And lastly I'm adding my cooled sautéed mushroom mixture. Giving that a good mix making sure everything is well married. And last goes in the ground beef. I have two pounds of 8515 ground beef. I pulled the ground beef out of the fridge about an hour ago to come to room temperature. I'm mixing thoroughly but not over mixing as I don't want the meatloaf to be tough. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I oiled my broiler pan and now I'm shaping my meatloaf. I want it to be about an inch and a half to two inches high and about three to four inches wide and I'm baking it for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes or until it reaches an internal temp of 160 degrees. In the meantime I'm going to make the mushroom gravy. In a pan on medium heat I have two tablespoons of butter and one minced shallot. Stirring and letting that cook for a minute or two and then adding three to four cups of cleaned and sliced fresh cremini or baby bella mushrooms. Salt and black pepper Give that a good and gentle toss. The mushrooms will slowly cook down and release some liquid. You can find this recipe in the description box below. Please come and visit me on Facebook, Google Plus, and Test Cooks for You blog. Let the mushrooms cook down for about five to eight minutes or until the moisture is absorbed. At this point you can add about a quarter cup of wine or bourbon for some extra richness. Next I'm adding about two to three tablespoons of flour. I still have my heat on medium and I'm stirring and cooking for about a minute or two just to get that flour taste out. And next is the key. I'm slowly adding some beef broth. Just add a little at a time and stir to get all that fond off the bottom of the pan. That is all flavor. Once the gravy is all one color, creamy and smooth, Add the next half a cup to three quarter cups of broth and repeat. Adding the broth slowly and then stirring will prevent lumps and make your gravy nice and smooth. 
Keep stirring and adding the broth until you get the consistency that you wish. I like mine on the thick side. Bring the gravy to a simmer on low medium and let it cook for about 10 minutes or until reduced and nice and thick. I'm giving my gravy a taste and I'm adding some more black pepper and I also happen to have some extra chopped chives on hand so I'm adding those. Cooking for an additional two minutes and removing from the heat. The gravy smells and tastes so good. I can hardly wait. You can add some cream or extra butter at this point. The meatloaf has been resting for about 15 minutes and it's time to make a plate. I am ready to eat. The outside of the meatloaf has a nice brown crust and the inside is nice and moist. The meatloaf has tremendous flavor with all the onions, mushrooms, and herbs, serving with mashed potatoes and peas with pearl onions. The rich mushroom gravy is like icing on the cake. What's really great is I'll be looking forward to some middle-of-the-night cold meatloaf sandwiches with mustard. Please give this delish mushroom meatloaf a try. I'm sure you will like it. It's nice and comforting. And enjoy. Thanks for joining me here at Test Cooks for You. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe for future recipes and videos. I appreciate all my viewers, and until next time, much love.